Yes, 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 Gertie. Nice to see you in the gym for once, eh? What do you mean for once, Jerry? I'm bigger than you, bro. I like what you're wearing, though. You like what I'm wearing? Yo, no, it's a brand new A-Bass snow tee. Yo, no, Gertie. I even got this A-Bass midnight tee, and I used your discount code, GAP10. Yo, A-Pass, nice man. Thanks for using my code, bro. Thanks for supporting me. Yo, no, I got to love it, eh? The packaging of A-Pass is 100% recyclable. So yay for the planet. And yay for me, because it's super comfortable, super affordable, and very, very breathable. Love it, bro, love it. Anyways, Gertie, what are we doing today? I'm glad you asked. We're going to be doing... A ab video, right? How to get abs in two weeks. That's four. In two weeks. Yeah. If everyone likes, comments, and subscribes to the video, then we'll be doing how to get abs in two weeks. And hopefully we all get abs in two weeks, you know? It's, it's in the title. Mmm. Joe. How to get abs in two weeks. Jeez. I wish, man. I wish. Jeez. So, Gertie, what you're telling me is that the people, they just have to like, comment on the video, and subscribe to your channel for us all to get abs in two weeks. Okay, so guys, now, do us all a favor, go to Gertie's channel, like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to his channel if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of his videos in the future. And then just do those three things and we'll all get abs in two weeks. It's that simple. Yeah, but Jerry, there's a bit more to it than just like, commenting, and subscribing. It's not that simple. There's a bit more to it than that. You're going to explain how to get abs in two weeks in detail. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, it's your boy Spider-Man. No, I'm kidding. It's just me, Chad. So today what we're going to be doing is a little video on how to get abs in two weeks. That's it, just two weeks. It's that simple. First, I'm gonna do the exercises, and then for those of you that watch to the end, you're gonna get extra intel on how to get abs and what to do and what not to do to get abs. I advise that you don't be like CrossFit and use momentum for any of these abs exercises, because if you're just swinging your legs up and down, you're not really contracting your abs. And the main thing with abs, right, main thing you have to focus on is your breathing. So as you're going down, you breathe in. As you come up, you breathe out and you squeeze everything. It's like you're taking a dump, so you're like. Okay, so first exercise, leg raise. What you do is you go flat and you just lift your legs up to the ceiling. You're gonna to wanna to do this for 30 seconds. Next exercise is just the average normal day crunch, everyday crunch. So it's like this sit up, but it actually works. So you go down, and you just, you don't go all the way down, you don't go all the way up. So you keep the tension on your abs. If this is too easy for you, you can always get a weight. So you hold the weight like that and you go up like that. So next exercise that you're gonna to wanna to jump straight into is crisscross mountain climbers. That means your right knee is gonna to come to your left elbow. And you don't wanna go fast on these. You wanna pace yourself because you wanna squeeze and contract. Squeeze and contract. Everyone does Russian twists just like this and just sitting like this. It does nothing, you're just twisting your body. I recommend you lift your legs up because your core is already contracted right now as we speak. And then you just twist. That actually works your core and not just your rotator muscles. So the next exercise, I call them froggy sit-ups. I'm not quite sure what normal people call them. I think they're in and out. So what you do is you extend, so you breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Out. 
if you're a beginner, then you just you can lift your, you can bend your knees. If you're advanced, you can go straight. How to make 30 seconds feel like 10 minutes? Yes, you guessed it. It's a plank. So all you do, you get up in the push-up position, basically. Put your elbows down and just stay there for 30 seconds. Focus on your breathing, don't put your head down, that makes it easier. Keep your head up and just focus on the breathing. Down into the crunch position and then you just opposite <laughs> limbs to each other. Don't be like crossfit and just try and do everything as fast as possible. Go slow and control your movements. Your head, not touching the floor. You're not like this. Cause like, what is that doing? Keep your head up, body up, and then you rotate like this. And you just tap your heels. Legs up in the air, and try and touch your toes. It's like the leg raise. Except you go up. And your legs don't touch the floor. And it's called a dragon flag. And it's an ultimate core shredder. So what you do is you're pushing down on the bar. So you get your body up like a pencil. And then you want to control it down all the way. <laughs> so if you've made it this far and you still think you're gonna get abs in just two weeks I hate to be the bearer of bad news but bros, girls, I'm sorry it's not gonna happen it will happen however if you change up your diet you change up your daily routine and you start eating in calorie deficit so when I say you change up your exercise daily routine, I'd suggest going to the gym at least three times a week. If you can't go to the gym, at least go out, go for walks. Unless you're like me in Melbourne lockdown, only allowed to go for five kilometer walks because I don't jog, I'm allergic to cardio. The second thing you can change is your diet. Because I'm a soon to be personal trainer, soon to be qualified personal trainer, I'm not specifically allowed to suggest what diet but I am allowed to give you healthier alternatives. If you exercise your abs and you're not changing up your diet, you're definitely working your abs and you're building the foundation to your ab muscles. But if you don't have a good diet, you're not gonna see your abs in the end of the day. You're gonna have to drop your body fat percentage. And in order to do that, you're gonna have to increase your exercise daily routine, increase, increase, decrease the amount of calories you eat. So let's say, you eat 3,500, I suggest you start eating about 3,000 to 3,200 so you can lose weight, but lose weight gradually and not drastically. With your liquid calories, I suggest getting rid of fizzy drinks, soft drinks, getting rid of alcohol, getting rid of energy drinks, unless there's the healthier ones like Excite or things like that. I'm not sponsored by them, I wish. Matt does fitness, my flipping idol sponsored by them. So I'm definitely not sponsored by them. Even in calorie deficit, so let's say for example, you eat 3,500 calories in a day and that's your maintenance calories. So then what you wanna do is you start eating a calorie deficit. So you go from eating 3,500 to eating 3,300 or 3,200 calories. You wanna start dropping at a healthy rate. So don't do it at an unhealthy rate. So let's say for example, from 3,500 calories to 1,000 calories. Like, you're probably gonna die. So if you change up just those three things, just to sum it up, liquid calories, your diet, liquid calorie in your diet, uh, your daily exercise routine, and start eating in a calorie deficit. If you do those three things and you do those 24 exercises, 12 exercises, but you do each of them twice, two to three times a week, then I can not guarantee that you're gonna get abs, but I can guarantee that you're gonna get 